Therefore I ask you, who are all these who have opened their mouths foolishly to reproach the living God? And who are all these who display a form of godliness, yet deny the power thereof? What part do I have with all these houses which are called by my name? And what part do I have with all these churches of men who do always take the name of the Lord in vain by all they say and do? I tell you the truth, you are all as foreigners to me. Emmanuel has passed you by. For I had poured out my spirit upon you that you might be bathed in the light of my coming. Behold, upon all flesh did I pour it out. Yet you would not receive of me, nor would you come out. Instead, you turned away from my leading and shut the door when I came knocking. For you do always resist the voice of truth and refuse correction, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, Churches of men, you have surely played the harlot, even as your mother has played the harlot, reveling in all her fornications. From the beginning she has been a whore and played the harlot, receiving into herself many lovers. She has never been on the side of the truth. Deceits are found always in her mouth. Even those who came out of her to point the finger became like her. For there is nothing new under the sun, for the heart of man remains deceitful and wicked. And in his unending quest for power, he grows ever more corrupt, as he strives always to enhance his self-perceived glory, that he might fulfill his ever-increasing lusts. Yet I tell you the truth, the reformers are cast down, every one of them sleeps, in the pit they have all lain down. O oh, great and lofty churches of men, you have enlarged yourselves, your pomp reaches unto new heights, higher than all, higher than your tallest steeple, by which you seek to pierce heaven. Therefore I shall surely cast you down. Even all of you shall be made to sit upon the ground. For you do always resist my voice, and in your arrogance you reject my words, believing yourselves to be above reproach. Deep-seated pride which chokes my word and is quick to blaspheme my spirit. Behold, you have surely reproached me, says the Lord. You have slandered my servants and bore false witness in my name against me and my messengers. For you say, Surely they have a demon. Yes, they have given heed to deceiving spirits, for God would never speak in such a manner. Yet I tell you the truth. It is you who has given heed. It is you who has been greatly deceived. Therefore are my servants slain, and my people given up to the blade. Yet you persist and say, We serve the Lord. We are God's servants. You have surely sworn falsely, for as I live, says the Lord, you have all spoken lies before me. Thus, as it was written of my people Israel, so it is even unto this day with you, for you have grown fat, you are sleek, yes, your deeds surpass those of the wicked. You do not plead the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet you prosper in the right of the needy you do not defend. Thus you are given up to the slaughter. Yes. You have all grown rich, very fat. You are swelled with pride. Your houses have become enlarged, spreading far and wide. 
Therefore, every lofty house must be brought down, and every great and lavish church must be left in ruins. Behold, I shall tear you in pieces, says the Lord, and in the day of my anger I shall not withhold. For you have surely robbed me, you have surely cast my people down, accounting them as spoils. Unfruitful servants, shall I not repay? Shall I not punish you for all these things? Behold, I had caused my name to resound amongst the Gentiles, and among those in far nations the Holy One has had renown. Yet what is this I see gathering strength throughout this generation? Perversions of every kind celebrated openly in the streets. Multitudes who dwell gladly in the midst of Sodom and walk at ease amongst the people of Gomorrah. Behold, Wayward nations cover the earth, and every church goes its own way. Therefore do you stand in judgment, O most perverse and deceitful generation. Therefore do I leave you to walk through the valley, O churches of men. For you have all forsaken me. Thus says the Lord, Behold, I have judged already, and am come to pass judgment. For I had called to you, O churches of men, saying, Come out and be separate, yet you refused me. As an obstinate child flailing in the midst of a tantrum, so have you refused to obey my voice. Neither will you listen. Indeed, you are altogether unable to receive correction. Even as a stubborn ox which sits upon the ground and cannot be moved. So are you amongst the churches of men, bullheaded and unmoving. Therefore I will release you into the open field and break up your fallow ground. In all your finely crafted houses they shall have no place, for only waste places shall be found. When there was once gr laughter, behold, only wailing shall be heard. Where there was once great riches, behold, only destitution shall remain. And where great teachers once stood, preaching loudly in my name, polluting it, behold the sound of a great crash, a basement. Then silent lamentation. As all your works are burned up in the fire, declares the Lord. And now you raise your voices against me once again with renewed fervor because of this word. Thus I shall indeed punish you for all these things. I shall indeed stretch out my hand and break your pride. For as the firm hand of a father humbles a haughty daughter and disciplines an unruly son, so shall I deal with you, O churches of men. For you have surely forsaken me, says the Lord. Beloved, you have forgotten your God. And the Holy One, your Redeemer, has become unrecognizable to you. How then shall you escape? How then shall you be delivered from all this death which encompasses you round about? How then shall you hide from the destruction which comes quickly from on high, drawing ever closer to take away your life? For your ways and your teachings do always contradict sound doctrine. Indeed, your doctrines and traditions profane my holy name as you further defile yourselves through your acceptance through your acceptance of pagan practices and myths which have been passed down to you by your forefathers, men who were corruptors and given to corruption, false servants 
who committed adultery with the pagans and did not wholly separate themselves from the many harlotries of the Catholic Church. I tell you the truth, she shall be torn in pieces. And yet all you churches of men remain like her, teaching always as doctrine the commandments of men, which has altogether turned you from the truth. For you profess to know me, yet by your works you deny me, being disobedient, abominable, disqualified for every good work. Thus, as it was written of those who rebelled against me at the first, so it remains concerning you at the last. Your mouths must be stopped, for you have subverted whole households, teaching things which you ought not, for the sake of dishonest gain. For I tell you the truth, you have surely blasphemed the Spirit of God, says the Lord. Thus I shall rebuke you sharply for your sins, by which you have rebelled against me. I shall correct and discipline you for the multitude of your transgressions, by which you have robbed me. For I have seen in your hearts malice, and how you seek to hold others captive, how you hold their sins over their heads and cast judgment, as though it were a hook. Therefore do your sins remain, therefore must your discipline be severe. For if I do not punish you for your iniquities, if I do not tear down all your houses and make you very poor and desolate, you can in no wise be joined unto me, declares the Lord. For I have not forgotten you, nor will I forsake you utterly as the wicked. I will remember you. For I have known you. No, not as you are, but as you will be. When I have broken your pride and brought your haughtiness to the ground, in the day I rob you of all your riches, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, Behold, I shall surely establish the line, and all on this side of the line shall be, shall be taken, and all on that side shall by no means escape, except through fire and tumult, until pure testimony flows from their lips, and death comes to set them free. Even as those who at present hold fast to the testimony of Yahushua Hamashiach, and also keep the, the commandments of God, have given up their lives for my sake. Thus all those who repent shall set themselves apart in that day, and they will keep that which they have had forsaken. Yes, they shall honor the law of the Father, which they had forsaken in my name. Yes, in that day they shall come to testify of me as I really am. No more shall they pollute my name or the glory of my majesty in their own names. No more shall they judge their neighbor harshly with impudent hearts. No more shall they mar my image among the people by all these detestable doctrines and traditions. Yes, my beloved, you shall be made new, and all that you were shall pass away in that day. Your vain worship shall cease, and all wickedness shall be purged from the midst of you. And you shall be for me a testimony and a witness, a great remnant who shall be given a new voice. For I shall put a new song in your mouths and cause your lips to burst forth with praise, even unto pure testimony in my name. And you shall lift up your voices boldly, causing the song to be heard throughout the city until you fall asleep. Fear not. For though you die, you shall not sleep at all. For you shall be with me in an instant, in the twinkling of an eye, in the day you give up your life. Having ceased from loving your life in this world, as one who in vain grasps at the wind, keeping it rather 
unto eternal life. The day your love is made perfect in the beloved, the day you find solace upon the bosom of your Savior, the one who consoles your heart and wipes away all your tears. Therefore, I am sending out this last trumpet before the time, increasing its sound, a final trumpet blast to warn the people, echoing in all the earth until the consummation. For behold, the day of the Lord is about to overtake you, and the great and terrible day is very near, and shall overcome you, says the Lord. Behold, the judgments of God shall rain down from heaven upon all who offend. For the wine of God's fury is poured out full strength into the chalice of his reckoning. And in his fierce anger he shall surely cause all the earth to drink from it. For thus says the Lord, I have indeed drawn the line and set the standard. I have indeed placed it in the midst of all people, says the Lord. And no one shall by any means pass over after the number has been fulfilled, when the first election is established. For in the days of Noah there were many mockers and many who pushed out the lip, jeering and laughing, until the day Noah entered the ark and the door was shut. So shall it be with this wicked generation. The door shall be shut and many shall be left standing outside without a covering, with no shelter to protect them from the hard rains which are about to descend. For lo, I tell you a mystery which shall soon be made known. Those who come out before the time who obey my voice will pass to one side and those who refuse to the other. One on this side and many more to the other. And those who pass over to this side, joining those who remain on this side, shall be plucked up and hidden, yet some shall be replanted and serve. While those who refuse my voice, even to rebel against me, shall remain on their own part, on the other side of the line, which the Lord has drawn, left to endure the plight of their error. By this is the inner court and the outer court measured. And all found on the outer court shall surely die, for they are left outside with no way in. Though they falsely perceive themselves to be on the inside, with their backs set against the walls, placing all their faith in a house doomed to destruction, soon to be torn down, yet those who come out from among them shall enter the inner court, though they are seen as outcasts and labeled falsely as heretics by their peers, yet they shall surely live, escaping all these things which I am about to do, which I shall surely bring upon all the inhabitants of the earth. For indeed, many are called, yet few are chosen, says the Lord. Even so, amen. Wow.